and you're live. Good morning, everyone. I'm going to call to order the November 22nd, 2023 meeting of the Philadelphia City Commissioners. And first of all, I want to remind everyone that this is a public meeting. And I, as chair, will preserve order and decorum of these meetings. The Sunshine Act permits anyone attending a public meeting to object to a perceived violation at any time during the meeting. If you choose to do so, please succinctly state your objection. And you're reminded an objection is not an opportunity for an argument of speech. We'll now move to public comment. Any commenters, uh, any persons present who wish to make a comment at this point, they're invited. If not, we will move on. Mr. Pelosi, uh, do we have any email public comments? There are no email public comments. Um, we will move on. As a matter of old business, I'll call Mr. Lynch to read the executive director's report. Good morning, commissioners. Good morning. Uh, today's Sunshine Report for February 22nd, 2023. County Board of Elections Report. The County Board of Elections now accepting mail in and absentee ballot applications. Voters on the annual mail in and absentee list started receiving their annual applications in the mail. Voter, voters will need to complete and return their application to the County Board of Elections to continue to automatically receive either a mail in or absentee mail ballot for the election of 2023. Voters may apply online rather than returning the paper application. As of yesterday, we approved 5,236 vote by mail applications, which is 4,043 added from last week's total. Of those, 170 are paper applications and 5,066 are, ap are electronic applications. This is including civilian overseas and military voters. We have started receiving back the annual mail-in and absentee applications, leaving us with a total of 22,844 applications waiting to be processed. Of those, 12,057 are paper applications and 10,787 are electronic applications. Petitions for the upcoming primary election for municipal offices are now available both at City Hall Room 142 and on our website, vote.phila.gov. Petitions have begun being circulated and can be filed as of February 14th. The last day to circulate and file nomination petitions is on March 7th, and the last day for candidates to withdraw is on March 22nd, 2023. Petitions for judicial offices in the upcoming primary, including the Court of Common Pleas and Municipal Court, are available from the bar of the state. We're carefully monitoring the number of candidates who are running, as well as potential ballot questions, as to the effect it would have on the length of the ballot. The ballot drawing for municipal candidates will be held 11 a.m. on Wednesday, March 15, 2023, in City Hall, Room 202. Our voter registration office, 520 North Columbus Boulevard, is extending its hours to accommodate petition reviews for the 2023 primary, starting Thursday, tomorrow, 23rd, um, February, February 23rd. The office will be open Monday through Thursday, 8.30 a.m. to 7.30 p.m., on Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m., and from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. on Saturday and Sunday. Anybody wishing to look up petitions or, or go to the can our, our office at 520 North Delrath can call 215-686-VOTE and press 4 for voter registration and voter services to schedule an appointment. Voter registration unit for the election cycle to date, they have processed 80,465 applications, of which 2,850 were paper. All applications are up to date. They are processing mail-in ballot applications, voter registration applications, and stuffing letters. The, electron, the election board unit to date for the fall e-poll book trainings, they have had 2,178 board workers attend trainings. There are six, there's 1,656 board workers scheduled for upcoming trainings. 
The unit is currently scheduling people to attend the remaining seminars. The polling place unit, as of this morning, the polling place unit has surveyed 185 sites to prepare for the use of the electronic poll books for the May 16th election. The unit is also continuing to work on changes from the last election cycle. That's all I have. Thank you very much, Mr. Lynch. You're welcome. I'm going to direct that the uh, commission staff uh, make Mr. Lynch's report a, a part of the permanent record of the commission's meeting. Uh, I have a matter of new business, and I have a motion that I'm going to propose. And uh, the basis is to better accommodate the judicial schedules of the commissioners. And as a public convenience, I move that we amend the first sentence of the first bullet of the rules enacted on January 15, 2020 to read the chairperson shall schedule and conduct regular meetings for the Board of Elections on Wednesdays. Do I have a second? Second. Um, uh, second having been duly noted, um, I will now uh, call the roll. All in favor by acclamation? Aye. Aye. So reported. Now, thank you, uh, uh, Commissioner. Uh, the future weekly meetings for the Philadelphia Board of Elections will take place monthly at noon on Wednesdays, except for the March 15th meeting for the drawing of the ballot position, which will remain at its previously announced time at 11 a.m. The staff shall publish all the required notices. Commissioner Bluestein, do you have anything to add uh, as an additional agenda item? I have none. Um, with no more items remaining on the agenda, um, I assert a privileged motion to adjourn. All in favor? Aye. Thank you very much. The meeting's adjourned.